Hello everyone. So today we will study how to find the ABCD parameters of a transmission line using a shortcut method, which is a quicker way to find the ABCD parameters of line. Already in the previous videos, we have seen how to calculate the ABCD parameters of line of various lines, including short line, medium line. In medium line, we have seen for end condenser method, nominal T method, and nominal pi method. The method involves in detail application of Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, simplification, and find the ABCD parameters. So today we are going to study the shortcut way to find the ABCD parameters. Now, in order to find the ABCD parameters of various lines, first we will find the ABCD parameters of a series element and a shunt element. A series element in a transmission line consists of combination of resistance and inductance RL. Together, it will form a series impedance Z which is given by R plus J XL. Whereas the shunt element, it consists of a capacitance. In actual, it will consist of a parallel combination of capacitance and conductance, but conductance, shunt conductance is usually neglected. So we will consider only the shunt capacity. So starting with the series element, so if we write relation between Vs and Vr, then we can write by using KVL, Vs is equal to Vr plus voltage drop across this, that is Ir into Z. So this voltage Vs will be equal to Vr plus voltage drop across this. So this voltage drop will be Is into Z or Ir into Z because Is is equal to Ir. Now the second relation we can write between Is and Ir. So as we can see from this, Is is equal to Ir. Now if you compare this with the standard equations, so standard equations are Vs is equal to AVR plus BIR and IS is equal to CVR plus DIR. Now if you compare these original equations with the standard equations, we can get ABCD parameters as follows. So for series element A, it will be coefficient of VR that is 1 here, then B which is coefficient of IR that is Z, C which is coefficient of VR, so there is no term of we are here, so C is 0 and D which is coefficient of IR that is 1. So these are the ABCD parameters of a series element which consists of a combination of resistance and inductance. And these are also the ABCD parameters of short transmission line because in short transmission line we consider only the series element, shunt elements are assumed to be 0 or they are absent. Now one more thing we require that is what are the ABCD parameters of a shunt element if there is a presence of capacitors. Now for this we can write a relation between Vs and Vr as follows. So here, so this voltage Vs and this voltage Vr, so both are in parallel because this is a parallel element. So we can write simply Vs is equal to Vr, that is the first thing. And second we want to write relation between Is and Ir, so we can write Is is equal to IR plus this current. So let us assume the current flowing through capacitor is IC. So we can write IS is equal to IC plus IR. Now what is IC? So IC is nothing but by Ohm's law it is Y into voltage across this capacitor that is V. Because we know that by Ohm's law current is nothing but the voltage upon impedance and 1 upon impedance is nothing but the admittance. So we can write current as a product of voltage and admittance. And for shunt element, we represent the capacitor as an admittance. So Is is equal to YVR, that is IC YVR plus IR as it is. So this is our equation of Vs, this is equation of Is. Again comparing this with the standard equation, we can write ABCD parameters as follows. So A is equal to coefficient of Vr in case of equation of Vs, so that is 1, then B that is coefficient of Ir, in Vs there is no term of Ir, so B is equal to 0, then C which is coefficient of Vr that is Y and D coefficient of Ir that is simply 1. So these are the ABCD parameters of a shunt element that is a shunt capacitance. So here Y we can express in terms of capacitors as J omega C. Okay, so we know that. So by using these relations, that is ABCD parameters of series element and shunt element, 
we can calculate ABCD parameters of all transmission line. Out of that, first one is the short line. For short line, ABCD parameters will be simply same as that of the series element. Now moving to the next type of lines, that is a medium transmission line using end condenser method. If you consider the end condenser method, the capacitance we are assuming to be present at the receiving end, hence the name end condenser. So series element Z is present here. Now this is a combination of two elements. So one is the series element. So this one is series element and this is the shunt element and they are cascaded. They are connected one after the other. So we can write directly now the ABCD parameters of this method and condenser as a product of two matrices. So first matrix will be the ABCD parameter of series element. And second matrix will be the ABCD parameter of shunt element. What are the ABCD parameter of series element that we have seen? 1, Z, 0, 1. So we can write here 1, Z, 0, 1. And the second matrix is the ABCD parameter of shunt element that is 1, 0, Y, 1. So 1, 0, Y, 1. So we need to simply multiply these two matrices to get the ABCD parameters. So if we write the ABCD parameters of medium line using end condenser method. So that will be equal to so multiply these two matrices. So 1 plus ZY that will be A element. So 1 into 0, 0 plus Z is Z that is the B. And 0 into 1, 0 plus Y that is Y and 0 plus 1 that is. So these are the ABCD parameters of the end condenser method. So that we have obtained. So you can understand how easy it is to find the ABCD parameters by using this shortcut method. Just we need to remember what are the ABCD parameters of series element and shunt element. Now moving to the next, that is a medium transmission line nominal T method. So again if you observe here, so first one is the series element which is the half impedance, half series element uh, impedance Z by 2. Here half, that is this one is series and in between we assume the capacitance which is represented by Y, that is the shunt element. So how many matrix will be there here? There will be three matrices, first series, then shunt, and then series. We need to follow the sickness. So if we write the ABCD parameters of medium line, in case of nominal T method, then we need to multiply three matrices. The first is the series, that is 1. Here it will be Z by 2 now, as element is Z by 2. 0 and 1 then shunt for shunt element so 1 0 y 1 we can write here 1 0 y 1 and here again series so 1 z by 2 0 and 1 now we just need to take the multiplication so multiply first two matrices 1 into 1 1 plus z y by 2 that will be first term here 1 into 0 0 plus z by 2 that will be z by 2 then 0 plus y that is y 0 plus 1 that is 1 into second or third matrix as it is. So we have multiplied first these two and we are writing product here and then we need to multiply these two. We can also change, we can first multiply these two matrices and then this into the resultant that will also result into the same answer. So here so 1 plus Zy by 2 into 1 that is 1 plus Zy by 2 plus z by 2 into 0 it will be simply 0 the next 1 plus z y by 2 into z, z by 2 so that will be we can write z by 2 into 1 plus z y by 2 plus z by 2 into 1 that is z by 2 now y into 1 y plus 0 that is y y into z y by 2 plus 1 so that is 1 plus z y by 2 so here out of 4 these 3 elements are already in simplified form the fourth element or this element we can simplify a bit. So here we can write so ABCD parameters equal to so 1 plus ZY by 2. So this term we can write so Z by 2 into 1 that is Z by 2 plus Z by 2. So this Z by 2 plus Z by 2 it will be Z plus Z by 2 into Z Y by 2 it will be Z square Y by 4. Z by 2 into Z y by 2. So Z square y upon 2 into 2, 4. This y as it is and 1 plus Z y by 2 as it is. So simplifying 
1 plus z y by 2 as it is this y as it is so here we can take z as common so z into 1 plus z y by 4 here it is 1 plus z y by so we can write a b c d parameters as follows so 1 plus z y by 2 that will be a then b is z into 1 plus z y by 4 and c is simply y and d is 1 plus z y by 2 so this is the direct method we can get the abcd parameters the same answer we have got by using a detail method by detail calculation also we are getting same so moving to the last line that is medium transmission line last line in case of medium transmission line that is nominal pi method again if you observe here half of the capacitance is assumed to be present at the sending end and half is assumed to be present at the receiving end and the series element is assumed at the middle so this is the shunt element in between a series element and here there is again a shunt element that is nominal pi method most accurate in case of these three method end condenser nominal t and nominal pi nominal pi method is the most accurate method now again following our procedure so ABCD parameters of this line it will be product of three matrices so first is the shunt element so 1 0 y by 2 and 1 the next series element so 1 z 0 1 third is the shunt element so again 1 0 y by 2 and 1 we should not change the sequence remember first shunt then series then shunt we should not change the sequence otherwise our answer will be wrong so that will be equal to first we will multiply these two so 1 into 1 1 plus 0 that will be 1 so 1 into z z plus 0 that is z then y by 2 plus 0 that is y by 2 then z y by 2 plus 1 so 1 plus z y by 2 that is our first matrix into second matrix as it is so 1 0 y by 2 1 so that is equal to so multiply these two so 1 into 1 1 plus z into y by 2 z y by 2 1 into 0 0 plus z that is z then y by 2 plus 1 plus z y by 2 into y by 2 so we can write y by 2 into 1 plus z y by 2 last term will be this is 0 plus this that is 1 plus z y by 2 so these three terms are simplified we will simplify this the third term so here we can write abcd parameters equal to so 1 plus z y by 2 as it is z as it is so here y by 2 plus if you multiply this y by 2 so y by 2 plus y by 2 it will be y plus y by 2 into z y by 2 so that will be z y square by 4 and last term is 1 plus z y by 2 so this is equal to so finally our abcd parameters of nominal pi method will be equal to 1 plus z y by 2 z here y we can take common so y into 1 plus z y by 4 and this is 1 plus z y by 2 so these are the abcd parameters so how easy it is to use this matrix method shortcut method to find the abcd parameters of any transmission line just we need to remember what are the ABCD parameters of series element and shunt element. So we have first calculated what are the ABCD parameter of series element that is RL, series RL, then shunt element, shunt capacitance. By using this, by using simply a matrix multiplication, we have calculated ABCD parameters of medium transmission line, all three methods, end condenser, nominal T and nominal pi. I hope you understood this shortcut method. Thank you.